what's going on you lot welcome back to football therapy with me host yeah and i do hope you lot are doing oh so well and welcome to today's video which is a match preview of chelsea's champions league game away in france over at lille this is the match preview <laughs> it's gonna be great so lille league on side currently sitting in fourth place champions league spot looking pretty good while well, they're a champions league team by all accounts also, they just got slapped by Ajax last time out, 3-0. But also, they drew 1-0 to Nice in Ligue 1. What does it mean? I don't know, but we're going to speculate some stuff in today's match preview. Before we do get into it, guys, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell notification icon. Why? Because I upload every single day. I want you lot to keep up with the content. And if you want to support your boy, please do like this video as well. All right, so I've talked about the Champions League group before for Chelsea. It's looking worrying. You know what? That loss to Valencia at home was damaging indeed and I'll tell you why there are three teams that are looking for qualification in this group all but Lille sadly in my opinion and before the campaign started Valencia would have looked at Chelsea away on paper and said you know what guys that's the hardest fixture considering Chelsea are Europa League champions and you know Ajax sold Mateus De Ligt and Frankie de Jong so yeah the hardest fixture for them and you know what they went away to Stamford Bridge and they won they got all three points I was there, it was turgid, dreadful scenes. So for me, the group's kind of flipped on its head a little bit. Chelsea should be worried, in my opinion. I think Chelsea are actually gonna rely on Ajax having to slap about Valencia now and do Chelsea a favor so Chelsea can comfortably get into that second spot and therefore qualify for the next round. So I'm sure everybody will be keeping a keen eye on that other game in the group midweek. Anyway, Frank Lampard will be massively hoping to secure all three points here, especially watching how Ajax turned them over. Chelsea are in better form now. Obviously, they had the cup game against Grimsby Town where they won 7-1 and they got to blood a bunch of youngsters and the future certainly looking bright for Chelsea and moving forward with their youth. And also, they got that elusive clean sheet against Brighton, the 2-0 win at home. Only issue with that game is maybe they should have scored more goals. But how are Lille going to set up in this game? What are they going to do? What formation? What shape? You know what? Let's get into it. Let's open the analysis screen. Right, on the graphic next to me, I've put up two lineups that Lille played. One last time out in Ligue 1 against Nice. And also, I've put up the 4-4-2 they employed out against Ajax in the Champions League. Obviously, as a rule, the 4-4-2 is a more conservative and defensive formation. And I reckon that's probably what they'll do again, even though at home in the Champions League against Chelsea. Who knows? They may do the 4 2 3 one And to be honest, it might shapeshift well in and out of position. Who knows? But I think they'll go 4-4-2. Lille have got a couple of recognisable names in there but nothing to blockbuster obviously they sold Pepe in the summer for an astronomical sum to Arsenal and you know what he's not really looking like he's hit the ground running yet we all know he's a talented player he tore up league on but yeah he's yet to do it for Arsenal which is fortunate for everyone else but Arsenal fans. Chelsea obviously have history with Lille because they bought the famous world star Eden Hazard from Lille, but at the moment, it doesn't look like they have any superstars left in that side. So really, regardless of being away, even if they play a conservative 4-4-2, Chelsea need to be winning this game. But how will Chelsea line up against the French league earned side? Let's switch the graphic over to a couple of potential Chelsea formations. Righto, in terms of personnel, Frank Lampard has confirmed on the fifth stand Chelsea app that both Antonio Rudiger and Emerson is still out. So in terms of a back two, I could see Zuma coming back in for this game if uh, one of the centre back is fatigued, but I really do see Tomori starting again. And to be honest, it's going to have to be Marcus Alonso at left back, unless Lampard really wants to throw the dice and puts more trust into Ian Matson, but still, I think this would come too soon for him, so we're probably going to expect to see Marcus Alonso in the left back position. Or left wing back. There is a chance Frank Lampard will revert back to his 3-4-3. I personally wouldn't want to see it, but you know, you never know. The thing is, he did it against Valencia at home, and for me, it was a sterile, non-functional approach. There was loads of possession in the wing backs, 
and didn't really look like anything was going to happen. There was no play between the lines. So he could play a 3-4-3, three, three, try and get Marcus Alonso to do less running and more attacking, maybe. But to be honest, I hope he doesn't do that. One positive thing is Lampard's alluded to. He thinks that N'Golo Kante will be available for this game. And obviously that will be huge. Chelsea need some points on the board in the Champions League now. Getting points on the board often can be delivered by that man in Golo Kante or certainly prevent you from conceding. If it's not a 3-4-3, I think it will be a 4-2-3-1. I mean, you could say it might be a 4-3-3, the Maurizio Sarri formation with Jorginho, Kovacic and Golo Kante on the right. But in terms of going out and attacking, it probably more like a 4-2-3-1. Frank Lampard's preferred formation that basically he wants to put out every time he feels he's comfortable to do so. It's obviously not the most conservative formation and it's one more equipped to do more direct pressing. That's what Frank Lampard needs to do. If not fatigued, I expect Callum Hudson-Odoi to start this game. He did come off the bench against Brighton. He has played a lot of football in a very short amount of time now, considering he's not supposed to be match fit. But I think there's a chance both him and maybe, maybe Kristen Pulisic will start. But you know what? It could be Hudson-Odoi and Mount on the flanks. Regardless, expect a very strong side from Frank Lampard's Blues. I can't really see anyone else starting than Tammy Abraham, but if Olivier Giroud is finally back from that illness he's had, maybe he'll come in for a start. He might be chomping at the bit to get out there. And then Tammy might be rested for maybe the Premier League. Maybe Michy Batshuayi, although I still think he's more of a bench rotational player and impact sub. Um, but it would be really interesting to see Olivier Giroud, and to be honest, I'd quite like to see it. I would have liked to see Olivier Giroud play against Valencia, especially if Chelsea play the 3-4-3, because there's a lot of crosses coming in from the wing-back positions from um, Azpilicueta and um, Alonso, who played wing-back last time, and that would have been great going on the head of Giroud, and it wasn't really doing anything to Tammy. But can't really call it. It would certainly be refreshing to see Olivier Giroud. It's a French side. He might understand what the centre-backs are saying. It would just be really interesting, and then you could always bring Tammy on. But who knows with Frank Lampard's selections at the moment, you can absolutely never call it, which is a good thing in terms of opposition, but doing match previews, you can only speculate. It's a bit more predictable in the Premier League, but a game like this, who knows? All right, we've talked about how both clubs might set out their teams and squads, so let's get rid of the analysis screen. Huge, huge game for Chelsea, and if they don't get a win here, I genuinely think they will be in trouble obviously Tottenham Hotspur did something similar in the Champions League last season when they had a really poor group stage and only just scraped through and ended up getting to the final now I'm not saying Chelsea are going to do that but they absolutely need to be taking points off Lille and really Chelsea need to be very very wary of Ajax because if they smash up Valencia in that in their game then it looks like they could be absolutely favourites for the group and Chelsea need to basically be really wary of Valencia as well and probably even Lille if they don't get the win. So it's a huge, huge game for Chelsea. Frank Lampard needs to be very cautious, but not overly cautious. He still needs to be able to afford himself the ability to score goals unlike the Valencia game. Obviously, being able to play people like Callum Hudson-Odoi and N'Golo Kante will be huge, and I mean that in a positive, offensive way for N'Golo Kante. I know he scored that worldly the other day against Liverpool when he dribbled past a couple of people and slotted it in the corner, but it goes unnoticed a lot how important that N'Golo Kante is to Chelsea's attack a lot of the time. Certainly under Maurizio Sarri, when he was out of the team, Chelsea were missing a lot offensively. I know that was something to do with Sarri's development of Kante, but that still remains in Frank Lampard's Chelsea. He's actually really important to the attack at times as well when they go through that sort of playing between the lines in that right-hand channel. He can link up play very well indeed, as well as obviously being immaculate defensively at the same time. So a lot will depend on who starts this game and how Chelsea set out, but really it's Frank Lampard needs to be able to make substitutions to change the game if it's not going well, but the onus is really on Chelsea to get the win here. I know it's away, it's their first away Champions League game, it's the big for these young players, but it's so, so important and they need to just apply themselves, get their heads down, try and score a few goals, then tighten up at the back. I'm going to try and do a score prediction here. Chelsea have just got their first clean sheet of the season. Um, it was against Brian at home and they weren't really offering much. I know Ajax beat Lille 3-0, but that was at the Jurgen Cruyff Arena as well. This is away at Lille. I think Chelsea are going to win, but I think it's going to be harder. I think Chelsea are going to win 2-1. They're going to secure all three points. And hopefully, hopefully in the other game in the group, 
somehow Valencia get a draw against Ajax and then between the three favourite teams it's still wide open. But that's what I think and I'm keen on hearing what you think so get down in the comments let me know your speculated lineups for this game and let me know how you think the group's going to finish that's really interesting. Give me your finishing group ranking so who's first who's fourth and why not even tell me the points as well I'll be keen on reading that I'm always down in the comments so get down there. Also I want to remind you guys to subscribe to my sister channel Yam Plays because it's really <laughs> loads of fun I'm doing different FIFA career modes and I will eventually play different video games with you guys it's a lot of fun uh, go and support me subscribe and watch some videos and if you've enjoyed today's video why not like this video and follow me on social media at football Yannick that's at football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter right that's it from me guys I hope you have enjoyed this video you enjoy the Champions League you enjoy the football generally, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.